Hey, uh, I am Shalini Albuki from Bitspilani, India. Uh, this is my second stop with the Turing team and the Julia Lab. Uh, I was part of Julia Soft last summer. This summer, I worked on building Gaussian processes uh, ecosystem in Julia uh, with the Turing Lab team. Uh, we started off our summer by coding up the building blocks of a Gaussian process, that is the various kernel functions. We then designed types for GPs, the finite projections of these GPs, and posterior GPs. We also added methods to compute the exact and approximate posteriors of various kinds of GPs. We also supported multi-output GPs while using the existing infrastructure. Uh, our project was actually organized as a separate sister GitHub organization called Julia Gaussian Processes. Uh, we have separate packages for kernel functions, likelihoods, abstract types and methods for Gaussian processes. And, uh, and we also have a new one coming up for induced point methods. So my work involved contributing to multiple packages, which had this different aspects for GP. Uh, all in all, it was an extremely productive summer uh, amid a pandemic where I helped uh, build the foundations of a new GP ecosystem. I would like to thank my mentors, Will, David, and Theo, who were extremely patient with me and gradually gave me more freedom. Uh, I'm looking forward to continue contributing to this exciting, uh, but uh, definitely ambitious project. Uh, please check out our, uh, our packages for more details. Yeah. Shana was from India and I have contributed in the project of making a standards compliant interval arithmetic library under the mentorship of David Sanders. Uh, solving some bugs and implementing new functions with the help of an interval test framework for IEEE 178 is what I've worked in the summer. Uh, I focused at one file at a time from the test framework so that the project doesn't become overwhelming and thus all my pull requests are just name of file. Almost all tests from this uh, framework now satisfy and issues uh, are created in the repository for those, for those tests which do not satisfy. Uh, the biggest problem I had to face during this time was to solve uh, the rounded errors uh, because the test required a very high precision and I remember staring at my laptop for uh, countless hours trying to find a solution and when I finally found the solution it felt so good. Uh, I had uh, read the IEEE standard multiple times uh, to ensure that what I had implemented is correct and it has also been cross-checked with the JNU Octave interval package. Uh, which is the de facto standard for all interval arithmetic uh, packages. Uh, finally, I would like to thank uh, Julia for having a program like Julia Seasons of Contributions or JSOC uh, and giving an opportunity to students like me uh, to progress in this uh, wide open source. My name is Utkash. I am a fourth year undergraduate at IIT Kanpur from India. My interest lies in scientific machine learning and computing and wanted to learn more about its programming aspect. So I find out that the Julian language is making stride in these research topics. Wanting to contribute further, I decided to apply in the Google Summer of Code program and was selected as an open source contributor under the Julian language. My work dealt with performance advancements and optimization in differential equation solvers. I was mentored by Dr. Chris Rokakis, Tanav Gupta and Samuel e. Saxon. I extend my gratitude and thank them for helping me throughout the season getting me familiar with the SciML code base and ecosystem. Regarding the technical aspects, I mainly contributed to the alternative wiki.gl repository and optimized solvers for stiff road ease. I also worked on multi-threading parallelism in implicit and explicit extrapolation solvers. I was able to achieve better benchmarks with numerical stability and drastically improve existing algorithms. The whole experience was enriching and the Julia community is really welcoming. I got to know more about the speed and dynamism of the Julian language, which has wide applications in scientific research. To be honest, working this summer increased my inclination towards pursuing research further. I will continue to contribute to the Julian language and learn more from the community. I extend my word of thanks to everyone who helped me throughout this journey and giving me such an excellent opportunity. I would like to also thank Mr. Logan Kilpatrick, the Julia Community Manager, for allowing us to share our experiences. Thank you and keep coding. Hello everyone, I am Kaushal Chaudhary and I am from India. I am a CS undergrad at IIT Kharagpur. This year I had the opportunity to be a student developer for the Julia language under Google Summer of Code. My project was mainly to implement dictionaries and several tree-based data structures. 
I was mentored by Lyndon White and Jameson Dash. In the summer, I wrote Swiss Tech, which is inspired from Swiss tables developed by Google. It uses LLVM calls to provide improved performance over base dot date under high load factors of 97-98%. It also has a lower memory footprint. Cool, right? Yeah. So I also wrote um, order drop in dict, which is an ordered dictionary as the name suggests. It uses Robin Dict, a data structure that I developed for um, Julia Seasons of Contribution 2019. And apart from this, I wrote several tree-based data structures such as red black tree, ABL trees, and spray tree. Fun point, the ABL tree implementation has an order statistics implemented in it. So if you want to use order statistics and you are clueless, you can hop on to datastructures.dl. There is a real tree waiting for you. In these tough times, um, I found it challenging you know, to manage my schedule and also take care of my health. But this is the new normal and we got to get used to it. I had fun contributing to this wonderful community. And I'll continue doing so in the future. Hello, everyone. Ludovico speaking. I've just finished my work with Julia under the Google Summer of Code experience. I've been working with Julia for two years now on the surrogates.jl library, which is hosted under the scientific machine learning community. This library deals mainly with approximation techniques for solutions of differential equations and partial differential equations. I've been enjoying my time with Julia and the broader Julia community a lot, and I cannot wait to see what's next in the future years. Hi, my name is Kirill Zubov. I contribute with the project General Partial Differential Equation Solver using neural networks on Jula language. My project aim was to design a partial differential equation solver using a deep learning approach based on the physics informed neural networks with the modeling toolkit interface for the Aftermate solution as a part of Nero PDE library. So let's just see what happened and how it works with an example of solving the two-dimensional pulse and equation with some boundary condition and space domains. We describe our equation by its Julia code in the form that you see on the slide. The important part of this project was the implementation of the Ultimate PDE solution to be able to describe a similar description of the PDE and get the result without having to know about specific details. So we just tell the system to discretize PDE with a neural network and then solving it. And after the learning, we get a prediction solution. Here is some visualization of results that compare prediction analytical solution and get a relative error plots. And finally, I was encouraged by opportunity to solve interesting and challenging problems like pins in Aftermate PDE Solver. It was an inspiring experience for me that I could be doing something useful and create a product that will be used by a large number of people. Thanks for this opportunity Google Summer of Code and the Julia community. And also thanks for my mentor, Chris Rokalkas, Five Half Dixit and Lulu for guiding me in the right direction throughout the full the program. Hello, I am Ashutosh Bharambe, currently an electronics and communication engineering undergrad at IIT Root. I was selected in the JSOC this year and my project was adding algorithms to neuralpd.jl which provides neural network solvers for partial differential equations. In the course, I added a solver for backward Kolmogorov equations. The solver provides a complete distribution spread over the space at a particular given time. I added a solver for optimal stopping time problems such as pricing the American options. I also added a solver for improving the existing deep backward stochastic differential equation solver by providing an optimal lower and an upper bound. I learned a lot during this phase. I'd say JSOC is a superb learning opportunity under excellent mentorship. I learned the theory and its efficient and pro proper implementation. Apart from this, Julia is an excellent community which is always ready to help and this just adds on to the experience that JSOC provides. Hi, my name is Francesco and I'm a physics student from Italy. 
In this past summer, I had the opportunity to contribute to the Julia language thanks to the Google Summer of Code program. In particular, my proposal was based around the implementation of a library for reservoir computing models that are a family of machine learning algorithms designed to perform well in the prediction of chaotic time series, for example, the Lorentz system. This uh, project introduced me to the scientific machine learning organization and the Julia community as well. And I have to say that my experience has been nothing short of fantastic. Both the organization and the community are full of scientists who strive for open source software and open science as well. And the Jew community has to be the most welcoming one I've ever encountered. And I am proud to be called part of that now. Um, the experience also helped me coding, but for sure I will look back on this one in the future with a smile on my face. And it has been really, really something that I will cherish. Hi everyone, my name is Frank Schäfer and I'm a PhD candidate in the group of Christoph Bruder at the University of Basel. In my Google Summer of Code project, we implemented new tools for neural stochastic differential equations. This whole project was supervised by Christo Korkos, Moritz Schauer and Ying Boma. Roughly, the new tools can be divided in two different categories. On the one side, we implemented high weak order solvers. Those are solvers which allow one to approximate the expected values of moments of stochastic differential equations. I want to highlight here that we also implemented adaptive high weak order solvers. That means solvers that can automatically choose the step size. For neural stochastic differential equations, it's on the other side very important that you can compute the gradients with respect to per the parameters of a loss function which you want to minimize. But this automatically means that you also want to compute the gradients with respect to the parameters of the solution of the stochastic differential equation. Recently, stochastic adjoint sensitivity methods were proposed. Those are tools which allow to compute those gradients very efficiently. Roughly, they consist of the following two stages. First, you simulate the stochastic equation forward. So starting from some initial state, you can so simulate a trajectory. Then, starting from the final state, you solve another augmented stochastic differential equation backwards in time, following the evolution of the forward evolution such that you end up with the initial state of the forward evolution. These both, we believe that both methods will be very important in many different applications. So some of the possible applications are optimal control or parameter estimation. And you can, can find more applications in the DFQ Flux readme. If you have any questions about the new tools or simply want to discuss with us, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Hello everyone, my name is Arsh Sharma and I'm an electronics undergraduate from India. I have worked on the Julia Geo package ecosystem for this summer. I contributed towards an ecosystem-wide movement towards the Geometric Basics API for better handling of geospatial data and a simplified pipeline from passing to plotting. The experience was altogether amazing. There were many ups and downs, but being able to contribute to something was an, an amazing experience. I'm extremely thankful to my mentor, Martin Wizer, and the entire Julia language community. Hey everyone, I'm Mas Bin Tahir, an alumni of the inaugural batch of the Amilish Fellowship and an open source contributor at the Julia ecosystem. And I really had an amazing summer with both the Amilish Fellowship and the Julia community. And let me just tell you briefly about my unique experiences. Now in Amilish Fellowship, usually what happens is that you're placed in a board of 10 to 12 people and are assigned a specific set of projects and usually these projects are languages or frameworks that you are already very proficient in. However, what happened in my case was definitely unusual. I was placed in the Julia board and this was a language that I had never heard about before. And it was for a domain scientific machine learning that I did not have any expertise in either. Furthermore, this was going to be my first time contributing to the open source. So now I was with board fellows who already had amazing skills and proficiency in both the open source and Julia. And quite frankly, it was very hard for me to keep up with them. But tell you what, that changed over the course of three months because of the amazing support that the Amelish mentors provided and how helpful the Julia community was. I was able to get start contributing in just a single week. The really awesome guys at Julia Plots even invited me to continue maintaining the project that I contributed to after the fellowship ended. A really big shout out to Simon, the maintainer of the Plots.gl package, who was always there to lend me a helping hand. And this is not even mentioning the friends I made there or 
the fun we had aside from contributing to the open source. All in all, if you are a beginner in open source or looking to get started, I would definitely recommend the Julia community. There's such a beginner friendly group of people that you'll get comfortable and start contributing in no time at all. Also, you can always connect with me and I'll help you get on board. 